Hi, I'm Christina V, and I'm Kila Wazoldik in Hunter Hunter. Kila, no! I'm sorry, but you've killed enough people. So let me do the dirty work. Yeah, I was really excited. I didn't know what to expect or where it, it would fit in in the timeline because we're kind of recording the show and the movie simultaneously. So I really was excited to see what kind of adventure it was when I found out. In the movie, we see Kilua, um, it, it's a lot about his backstory with his family, and I think that part to me is the most intriguing part of the show. So to have an entire movie based around that aspect, maybe I'm being a little selfish because he's the best boy and my favorite character and I love him so much, but I was really glad to see that fleshed out a bit more with him and his brother, uh, Illumi. Just so you know, you have no need for friendship in your life. Any friend you make will someday betray you. And even if your friends don't betray you, you will betray them. Um, so for characters like Kilua, who have this really deep backstory, um, I always try to keep that in mind. But most of the time, you know, he's, he's with Gon, and so he's trying all the time to fight against that darkness. And that kind of sums up the character for me is, you know, he's darkness and Gon is light. And Kilua is trying, you know, he's trying to protect the light in a, in a way. Um, and so that, that actually kind of informs all my decisions about voicing the character. I don't think I ever saw her as a romantic threat, per se. Not for Kilua. Kilua is way too fo- Kilua's not interested in girls yet. Um, he's interested in his friend, Gon. And um, I feel like I thought there was gonna be, and there was, there was a lot of conflict uh, throwing kind of like a wrench in like the perfectly, you know, whatever that's called, gear that is Gon and Kilua. Um, so it was really interesting to see. Uh, I loved Kilua's reaction to her, because it's like, what are you doing here? And um, yeah, it was fun to, to see Gon re, uh, interact with, sorry, Kilua interact with Gon with this new element in the mix, who is possibly like a rival for Gon's affections. I think that the parallel is kind of the reason why Kilua feels an aversion to her because she kind of senses like, oh, you know, like he sees a lot of himself in her. And since this whole movie is about that theme, um, I think it served as the perfect way to, to um, expand on this theme about family strife and conflict and, and beating your demons. Brother, I implore you to stop all this. Reds, what's wrong? I'm doing all of this for your sake. But I never asked you for this! Thanks to you, I am what I am now, the Divine Puppeteer. Kilua has very surprisingly good style. You know, I didn't think he was going to change clothing, but then um, when they got to Heaven's Arena, he was suddenly in like that black, like, turtleneck. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen, like, a character change clothing. And he changes clothing so much. It's so cool. He's, uh, he has killer fashions. Killer fashion sense! Um, yeah, so I'd say perfectly cast. <laughs> Who cares about stupid clothes? Just hurry up and tell us all about the place you had in mind. Oh, shut up! You know, Hisoka, I'm not, okay, I was really creeped out by Hisoka at first, but now we're getting to see like different sides of him. And now I'm just kind of more like, all right, Hisoka, we'll see what you're really about. You don't scare me anymore. You have this like cool and plus it's hard to be creeped out with him when you see him without his shirt on. Truth. You know, like when he's like all his hair is like all down. Never mind. Hi. 
thank you guys so much for supporting Hunter Hunter. Um, it's been really exciting to go on this journey with you guys and to get to know Kilua better. Um, it's also really weird to have kind of a crush on a character you voice. Just FYI, I thought you should know that. Okay, bye!